Johnny OTA cuisine is diluted, and thus we all have blue eyes, well, some cases. For those with that blue eye gene mutation, their eyes stay blue. But for the vast majority of us, once we're born, the OTA2 gene kicks into gear, creating melanocytes to make proteins, and the eyes turn a different color. Somewhere between nine months and two years after birth, it'll start to set. A medium amount of the melanin makes green eyes or hazel eyes, and a large amount makes them brown. With regard to hair, the melanin builds up the same as in eyes, creating a dark color. As babies age, their melanin levels increase, and their hair will darken. Hair colors can also change well into puberty, as some genes aren't even switched on until those hormones flood the body during adolescence. Eventually, usually in the 30s, human hair stops producing melanin altogether and starts turning gray. Basically, it stops adding color to the hair. Gray hair tends to occur earlier in Caucasians and later in Asians. It's important to point out that not all babies, again, are born with blue eyes. It mainly occurs with Caucasian babies because of the lower levels of overall melanin in their body due to the lighter skin tone. Babies of Asian, African, and Hispanic genetic heritages will likely be born with dark eyes that they don't. Funnily enough, 10 to 15 percent of Caucasians report their eye color continues to change into adulthood, so it's possible that your papers are still not settled. So what's your favorite eye color you wish you had? Tell us in the comments and make sure you subscribe to G News for more science.